Welcome to the MBS Engineering channel. Today, we will understand the topics below. How to convert the gas flow rate from a normal meter cube per hour to a meter cube per hour. The pressure unit is considered a millimeter of mercury. The upcoming slides will discuss this topic. Next, we will understand the normal meter cube per hour. Nm cube per hour stands for normal cubic meter per hour and as a unit of measurement, it is used to express the volumetric flow rate of gases under standard conditions of temperature and pressure. STP is the standard temperature pressure. The standard conditions are defined as normal cubic meter per hour. The standard condition defined temperature is 0 degrees Celsius or 273.15 Kelvin. Normal cubic meter per hour. The standard condition defined pressure is 1 atmospheric pressure or 760 millimeters of mercury. Nm cube per hour is a unit that measures the gas flow rate at normal temperature and pressure conditions. The normal conditions refer to a temperature of 0 degrees Celsius and a pressure of 1 atmosphere or 760 millimeter of mercury. Next, we will understand and learn how to convert a normal meter cube per hour to a meter cube per hour. Nm cube per hour stands for the normal cubic meter per hour. The standard conditions are defined as normal cubic meter per hour. The standard condition defined temperature is 0 degrees Celsius or 273.15 Kelvin. Normal cubic meter per hour. The standard condition defined pressure is 1 atmospheric pressure or 760 millimeters of mercury. Everyone is aware of the ideal gas law or equation is formulated as follows. PV is equals to NRT. The ideal gas law or equation is formulated as follows. P1 into V1 is divided by T1 is equals to and P2 into V2 is divided by T2. The standard conditions are next P1 is the normal pressure is 1 atmospheric pressure or 760 millimeters of mercury. Next T1 is the normal temperature in Kelvin. Next V1 is the normal volume in the Nm cube per hour. The operating conditions are next. P2 is the operating gas pressure in millimeters of the water column. T2 is the operating gas temperature in Kelvin. V2 is the volume of the compressed gas in a meter cube per hour. Next, we will learn and understand the pressure conversion table. In SI units, a vacuum pressure in millimeters of water column can be converted to millimeters of mercury column using the calculation below. Next, 1 mm of mercury is equal to 133.322 pascals. Next, 1 mm of the water column is equal to 9.80665 pascals. Next, 1 mm of mercury value multiplied by 133.322 pascals is equal to 1 mm of the water column value multiplied by 9.80665 pascals. Next, 1 mm of mercury value is equals to mm of water column value is multiplied by 0.0735559 or mm of the water column is divided by 13.5951. Next, the mm of water column value is equals to mm of mercury multiplied by 13.5951. Next, we will learn and understand how to convert Nm cube per hour to meter cube per hour. The following ideal gas law formula is used for this conversion. P1 into V1 is divided by T1 is equals to and P2 into V2 is divided by T2. The standard conditions are next P1 is the normal pressure 1 atmospheric pressure or 760 millimeters of mercury. Next, T1 is the normal temperature of 0 degrees Celsius or 273.15 Kelvin. Next, assume V1 is the normal volume 
4 lakhs 28,000 nm cube per hour. The operating conditions are. Next, P2 is the operating gas pressure, minus 125 millimeters of water column. T2 is the operating gas temperature is, 160 degrees Celsius. Or, 273.15 plus 160. And the obtained gas temperature value is 433.15 Kelvin. V2 is the volume of the compressed gas in a meter cube per hour. We need to calculate the V2. The ideal gas law formula calculates the V2 in Nm cube per hour. P1 into V1 is divided by T1 is equals to and P2 into V2 is divided by T2. As per the previous pressure conversion table. Next, 1 millimeter of mercury value is equals to millimeter of water. The column value is multiplied by 0.0735559 or millimeter of the water column is divided by 13.5951. Therefore, P2, a millimeter of mercury value is equals to minus 125, is divided by 13.5951. Therefore P2, a millimeter of mercury value is equals to minus 9.19448919. The ideal gas law to calculate the V2 is equals to P1 into V1 into T2 and the obtained value is divided by T1 into P2. Next, apply the standard and operating conditions data R to get the V2 is 760 into 4,28,000 into 433.15 and the obtained value is divided by 273.15 into 760 minus 9.19449919 please refer to the step by step calculation we get the v2 is therefore v2 is equals to 6,87,016.273 meter cube per hour Next, we will understand and learn the comparison of standard or ideal conditions and operating conditions. Next, based on the given data and calculations, the gas volumetric flow in standard conditions is 4,28,000 Nm3 per hour. Next, based on the given data and calculations, the gas volumetric flow in operating conditions is 6,87,016.273 m3 per hour. When operating conditions change, including the pressure and temperature, as well as changes in the obtained volumetric flow. Thank you for watching. We hope everyone understands how to convert the Nm cube per hour to a meter cube per hour. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more informative videos. Please like and leave a comment.